When our parents, Robert and Dorothy Tracy, started this business in 1960, they didn't really think of themselves as pioneers. Uh, they were from the Midwest, pretty humble. They created an environment, a culture, that continues to be our, our most competitive advantage uh, that we have today. And they really didn't have any idea this business would get this large, and here we are today with three generations of Tracy family members involved. Dad worked in the dairy industry back in the 40s and 50s. And he saw firsthand a lot of problems that these uh, dairy manufacturers had. And came up with a great idea. It was all about small order consolidation. He felt like this consolidation program could be a really good solution. This idea was too good to keep from the rest of the food industry. Food manufacturers are really good at making product and they're good at shipping it out in large increments. One area they struggle with is small shipments, and that represents a large percent of their customer base. Consumers want choice, and it doesn't matter how large you are in terms of wholesaler, you receive thousands of items every day in terms of less than truckload shipments, which is pretty inefficient. The costs are high, both from the manufacturer's perspective and the distributor wholesalers who's receiving them. Enter redistribution. Redistribution, we convert a lot of those small orders, those less than truckload shipments, into full truckloads that we pick up at the manufacturer that ultimately gets consolidated with other products that is then shipped to the last mile distributor or wholesaler that delivers to a restaurant or to some retail outlet. By doing that, we take a lot of the cost out of that supply chain, we take out a lot of the complexity, and we improve the service from top to bottom. The concept of redistribution hasn't really changed from when we started the business in 1960 in a small town in the middle of the country called Mount Sterling, Illinois. We have a lot of customers that order a wide variety of items from us and receive those uh, weekly. One PO, one invoice that they receive, and one check that they cut. The difference really is the fact that we were selling a really narrow scope to a small set of customers back then, but today we sell to a wide variety of customers, not only in the U.S., but North America and really all over the world. In order to really do that, we have to continue to invest in our people, continue to invest in our processes, and really build our capabilities to tap those opportunities. One example is something that we call the Dot Expressway one of the most used sites really in the food service industry and the reason why is it's the go-to. It's the go-to for information and that really leads access to the wide variety of products that we have. Our mission is to positively and significantly contribute to the success of our business partners. It's who we are as a company and it is what we stand for. Our brand promise is just that. It's really a promise to all those people that are doing business with us. Trusted values is what they can expect when they deal with our people. Our people are focused on delivering innovative solutions. It's really gonna drive shared growth for all the stakeholders involved.